Hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, I thought I'd do a quick video on trying to shift stock that's been hanging around for ages. I bought these. One of the first videos I did, I got a whole load of these um, boots. They're new. They're grafters. They're steel toe cap, safety steel toe cap. They're oil resistant anti-slip. So yeah, it looked like a good make. And um, I thought I can't go wrong with these. Now, considering I've had them about eight months, they've not shifted. Not one has gone. Um, they're in box. Uh, I have 11 pairs, okay? 10 of them are in box. Um, but some of the boxes are a little bit worn. Some of them are okay. But some of the boxes are a little bit worn. Um, and not sold one. Uh, and I'm trying to work out why and I'm trying to improve my listing so first off let me tell you the sizes okay I've got four pairs that are size 11 so that's an okay size I've got two pairs that are size 7 kind of borderline and then I've got a size 6 one size 6 um, three size 5 that's on the small size but of course, um, women could wear these as well. There's no reason why they shouldn't. And the pair that hasn't got a box is size 11. So, you know, some of that should should be selling. I suppose if I had sort of size 8, 9, 10, that would be like hit the sweet spot. But um, no interest in them whatsoever. So the first thing I've done, these are my listings as they stand. I've tried all sorts of things. I have tried one variation listing. Uh, with all the sizes I have tried separate listings I put them in sales I promoted them I've done all sorts of things not a sniff so first thing I'm going to do is go into Terrapeak okay just to sort of see am I going insane do they actually sell and yep yeah, they do sell Apparently, well, let's get let's get one that's similar. So this one's similar. It's sold for twenty-five pounds on the twenty-second of June. Sold yesterday. Can't believe it. Let's get another similar one. Oh, I've tried stock photos. I've tried my photos. Tried all sorts of things. Twenty pounds. Yeah, that's sold too. No postage. So they do sell. Now originally, I think I put these on at around twenty-five. Currently, I've got them on at 16, and that is 16 plus postage. Uh, I do 349 postage. First thing I'm going to do, and I don't normally do this, is put free postage on them. It seems there's a lot of com competition in this category, and free postage looks like the thing to do. So I'm going to add that in. I'm going to write all this down. I won't make the listing live or my way go away and do that and then show you it at the end um, I am going to promote this listing definitely now at the moment I'm at five percent so um, for a 20 pound item also that's a pound uh, that I would get charged I am going to keep that at five percent I think I think that sounds like a well, in actual fact, what I, I will do is, I will probably, it seems we're getting different ones for different sizes. Um, I am going to make this a variation listing again, and then I will match the suggested promotion. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to do a stock photograph and then add my photos after because it seems like that's what a lot of people are doing my price I think this is probably the most important thing now at the moment it's 15.99 and um, 3.49 postage now I'm going to add, have free postage I sometimes think you can be too low on price. I know that sounds crazy, but I want a price that seems kind of okay with what others have got and are selling at. And a lot of the similar ones that have sold, let's get this in 
order of date sold. They're around 23, 20 pound. Some of these are, let's get a similar one. So it's a kind of, it's not a, it's not like an ankle boot. It's like a shoe here, it's like this. 25, three postage. 34 free postage I'm going to put 22.99 and see how that goes if it doesn't go I'll put it in a I will put it in a sale so it's actually putting the price up which may sound crazy but I'm hoping the whole kind of rejig of this will sort it out um, lastly I'm going to change the title currently my title is Safety work boots. I put that because I thought it was the most important thing. Grafters. Men's contractor for eyelet leather shoes. Now, I don't think you need to know that they're contractor for eyelet leather or shoes. They are a safety work boot, even though they're a a kind of a low low rise they are a boot they got it says on it that they're a boot so to work out your best keywords you can uh, go over to eBay your your home page on eBay and if you just start typing an item so work boots it will give you so forget about the category ones it will give you what people look for so a lot of people look for the size that's understandable but here people search for men's so I'm going to add these keywords I'm going to have grafters um, work boots people search for waterproof now they are waterproof I'm sure I will check that but I'm sure they are waterproof they are oil resistant so I'm going to add that in even though it's not said it in there now I've added added men's I'm going to add women's as well because I'm sure there will be some women who will want work boots now I know these are steel toe cap so I'm also going to put in steel toe cap because that will be in my description so when people search steel toe cap you get work boot steel toe cap black so I will add the color into the title this is what people search for so again all the size and let's just try a few different options let's put in work shoes same sort of thing safety work boots And there we go, we've got some suggestions there for um, putting in items in the title that people are actually searching on. I don't think they're searching on for eyelet leather. So it doesn't necessarily matter about the kind of grammatical thing of it. You know, it's got to include in there what people are searching for. So I'm going to um, do those listings now. Now currently, um, now you can see that these listings if I can get the right screen on I don't know if you can see that but they've had no watchers they've had very few views they've been on for an absolute age very few views at all um, I could go into the analytics of the promotion that I've had running on them um, but I think it would be a sorry state of affairs the bottom line is I've had them for eight months and I haven't sold one so I'm gonna make those changes now and then I'll come back and film when I've done that Okay, so here's the new listing. I've added in all of those words which I got from the um, putting in uh, work boots in the main eBay page. It comes up with suggestions of what other people search for after that. So they've all gone in. Uh, safety work boots, um, water resistant comes in there, uh, men's, women's, steel toe cap, anti-slip, 
uh, the colour came in there, black. People search for these things. People search for size quite a lot, but uh, I've, I've got this on a variation listing now. So hopefully any sales that it does produce will help promote the listing. Um, I've changed it to free postage. I was wondering whether I could also change it to one day dispatch, but I couldn't. Um, I don't think that will have a major impact on it. I've redone the photos and got some stock photos in there. I uh, used all 12 photos. Um, I used the ones that I had previously, but I've switched the main photo back to a, um, a, a stock photograph. I put the price at 23.99. I was thinking about maybe putting 25, 26 pounds, but I'm I'd be happy, more than happy, if I got 23.99. I'm happy if I got 20 pounds even with free postage. I bought them for three. I just want to clear them now. I had them eight months, so these will be at 23.99, and then they will go into a sale if they don't shift. Um, they will probably go into a 20% sale straight away. So that will be, you know, about £4.50 coming off them straight away anyway when they're in the sale. So we'll see what the interest is like. Um, what other things? Item specifics. I've tried to fill out as many item specifics as possible, even though they might seem blatantly obvious. So really it's just a case of seeing how that runs now, keeping my eye on it. Um, but it is difficult when stuff doesn't shift, especially when they're multiple items as well. Um, like I say, I thought this was... Um, you know, I thought Grafters was a good make. I thought it was a make I'd heard of, but there's a quite a bit of competition for for boots and stuff. So um, yeah, you 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 have to pitch it right, um, and definitely make sure you're getting it right straight away. I thought they really would fly out, but um, uh, it's proved not to be the case. But they do sell. This is a good thing. Other people are selling them. So as, hopefully, as long as I've got my keywords right, I've got my price right, and I've got all those other elements right. Um, there's no reason why they shouldn't go. So these are now on a variation listing. I've ended my um, other separate listings for size. Um, and really it's just a case of wait and see. So I'll let you know how to go. But I hope you enjoyed that. It's always good to revisit kind of sticky stock and give it a bit of uh, va va voom, give it a bit of a pep up. Um, so it might be worth looking at sort of stock you've got that's been hanging around and uh, see if you can change the title and, and put in a few things I've suggested. But for now, take care. Hope you find that interesting. If you did like it, do click the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I'd love you to subscribe. That'd be fantastic. And uh, hopefully see you again. Take care.